Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be using two different uh, heat transfers. Uh, one of them is going to be StarCraft and then the other one's going to be just regular heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to show you which one you should put down first and why. So let's get started. I use 3G Jet Opaque and StarCraft. I like them both. Uh, this is 350 degrees, 30 seconds. So you naturally want to put this one down first because the heat transfer vinyl, depending on which one you use, uh, let's just say Caesar Easy Weed, um, 305 seconds, 10 to 12 seconds. I'm sorry, 305 degrees, and then it's only 10 or 12 seconds. You want to do the, the one that has the highest temperature first. So it makes sense to do the one with the higher temperature first with the you know of course this one's 30 seconds you want to do this one first and then let it cool down and then that way you can come back and add your heat transfer vinyl on top of that so i'm just going to show you my process and right now all i'm doing is lining it up i want to make sure that it'll line up perfectly so because i have to do this first <clears throat> on top of Because of that, I need to, I'm looking for my center line, which can be complicated because this is going in the middle. So what I'm doing naturally is four fingers down when you're doing heat transfer vinyl. Well, what I did is I did the four finger, marked it with my finger, my fingernail. That's the four finger mark, putting it down just so I had an idea where my image needed to be placed. And when I put it down, I took the ruler. It's kind of hot and I don't want this StarCraft to start melting. So I'm gonna use one that I already did. What I did is I grabbed my ruler or my tape measure. I just kind of figured out where, with the collar off, of course, I measured where I needed my the head to be. So it's at five inches. So what I did, so that I don't get, so that it's, you know, not off track or so that it's centered. Again, I pre-pressed, lint rolled everything. I created a center line. Remember the collar has to be off the uh, platen. So what I did is I got a measuring tape. I marked my five inch spot. And then I'm getting my little image, my StarCraft image. And I'm placing it quickly. You gotta be fast. I'm putting the line between his legs and then the placement on top of his head. And then uh, I use a Teflon sheet. You can move it, it's not moving the image any. And then just 30 seconds, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, one second left. So this is now ready. So this is not ready. So let's say that I was already I was already uh, ready for the heat transfer vinyl placement. Uh, let's say it's already cooled off, which it's not. Actually, let me grab another one. So the four inch mark is, or the line where that I marked with my finger is right there, right here. Whoops. See, it's lined up perfectly. So let me get this off of here. Let me go put this back really quick. So I wanted to show you how to, you know, some people may have trouble doing, figuring out how to line up um, two different processes, and that's how I, I do it. Of course, normally... Four, four fingers for just the regular heat transfer vinyl but because this is lower I don't want to guesstimate so I went from the top of his cap the center and between his legs on the uh, center line always make a center line so you don't want it to so it doesn't look jacked up when you're uh, ready to print or I'm sorry to press 
I've got about 21 adults that I need to make. I already made the kids shirts. Let me show you that one. <clears throat> the kids shirts I made the uh, different because That was a lot of weeding for one because I wanted the kids shirts to be a little different and this is what I came up with I just put a, a background in silhouette and just filled it in and this is what I came up with I think that came out pretty cool and these are all uh, all the kids shirts that I made anyway I just wanted to kind of share that really quick I've got 19 of these to know 21 of these to do so I gotta do this 21 times and then let them cool off, come back and then do the heat trash vinyl. And I'm gonna go ahead and press this one so you can see what it looks like. And remember, um, since this is 10 to 12 seconds, I'm gonna do 12 seconds. Did I change it? Yeah, since this is 12 seconds, it's not going to affect this too much. So 12 seconds on top of the image that took me 30 seconds for pressing at 350 degrees. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that real quick. 12 seconds. I'm going to pause the video. Gosh, I keep dropping this light. And I'm gonna remove this. You'll see where I messed up and I had to uh <laughs> that light. I had the L the L my uh, the L didn't cut correctly the first time. Anyway. Having all kinds of issues with this little light. This is a, a light that I got from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. It's very bright. I like it. it. Takes three batteries, and I can't find the third battery. That's crazy. Anyway, here it is. And that's the final. I had to make 21 of these. And the reason I went ahead and I didn't mind doing it, because uh, this is actually uh, my cousin who passed away a couple years ago. I think I think this is B flex. I don't remember, but I still press it at uh, like I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, just so that I know it's gonna stay on stick. So there you go, 21 of these. And that's how you remember. That's how you, um, that's how I place my images. So remember, always do your, your four fingers. And then I marked it with my nail. And then I placed it along with this on top. And then I took the tape measure to see how far the top of the cap was from the collar, which was five inches. And I'll show you. That's how I was able to mark it. I don't want this to be repetitious, but I want to make sure you guys understand when I'm how I got my measurements and how I was able to line it up. So let's see five inches from the collar. So I had removed the vinyl, the HTV. I placed this so I could measure it, and then again, I marked it with my nail again. And that's how I was able to put this down first, let it cool off. I think I let it sit for an hour because I was watching the news. Came back and turned the press back on at the setting that I needed for HTV, and there we go.
That's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.